Hello everyone. I thought I would do a quick video because I haven't done a walkthrough in a while. Um, I've actually been busy getting ready for my coin show that's this coming weekend, September 30th and October 1st here in Minot. And we had our coin club meeting in my shop last night, so I don't have my shop all set back up. When we have our meeting, we use this black table here that I usually have the green bins on that you can see off in the distance there. But uh, we use that this uh, this table for the officers, and then we have a bunch of chairs set up. We had uh, 16 people here in the shop last night for our coin club meeting. Did some last minute uh, prep for the coin show. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll just do a quick walkthrough and give a market update at the same time. Uh, today is Wednesday, the 27th of September, and silver and gold both have jumped down. Their uh, gold is at about 18.84 per ounce currently, and silver is way down to 22.67 at the time I'm filming this video. So couple that with low premiums, it continues to be an excellent time to stock up on silver. So if you have the means, I hope you're able. Uh, gold is actually uh, getting down as well. Uh, premiums, although haven't really come down much on gold, but it still makes it an excellent opportunity to pick some up at a cheaper price than you've had to pay in the last several months, really. There we go. Trying to get some views here of uh, the different types of gold we have in stock. I get lots of questions about gold and I've had some feedback that I don't feature it for long enough on these walkthroughs. So I'll take some time and hopefully you can pause the video and zoom in and if you have questions, you can reach out. I do have quite a bit more than what's here. Uh, we did pick up a whole bunch of fractional gold. Uh, we got a bunch of different five gram, two and a half gram bars, one gram coin, one gram bars. Uh, and those just aren't out in the case currently. Uh, I still have uh, several hundred of these uh, Inglehard Silver Prospector rounds. I featured those on a video. Uh, have shipped quite a few out actually, but we do have uh, several hundred more. I just got to restock my tray here. As always, we keep an ample supply of 90% silver. Had kind of a funny situation in here yesterday. Had a gentleman come in and he had been in here before, a real nice guy. Um, first asked me, how much space would $300 in junk silver take up? And I said, well, do you mean $300 face or you wanna spend 300? He said, oh no, 300 face. So I kind of made a gesture with my hands saying, you know, it would be in a bag about this big. He said, okay. You know what, I think, I think I'll do 500. I said, you want 500 face value of 90% silver? He said, yep. Okay, well, how do you want it mixed? Well, he wanted uh, $75 um, dollars in dimes, and then he wanted the remaining 425 split between quarters and halves. So I said, no problem. So I went and got my bags of 90% from the back and sat down at my desk and pulled out my scale and was doing a bunch of weighing and doing a bunch of math. About 15 minutes later, I had his $500 face value bag ready. And uh, the whole time we're talking, just kind of BSing, talking about everything really. And I said, well, how are you paying today? Well, I'll do cash. I said, okay, your total is, and it was something over $9,000. Oh, oh no, no, I only wanted to spend 500. <laughs> I said, oh, well, yeah, well, you can't get all this for $500, so. We had to back it out and, and he felt really bad, although it wasn't a big deal to me. I mean, I was here anyway, but did a little extra work for nothing, but um, he ended up spending $1,000 and bought a $1,000 uh, dollar amount in 90% silver. So kind of a funny story though, but um, it's my fault really. I, customers who are getting new into the hobby don't always understand the the speak, I guess. And when I say, do you want $500 face? That doesn't always register with what I mean. So I should have explained myself a little better. Um, anyway, I'm showing here a two ounce silver Trump coins. You notice they are on sale. We have a couple hundred of these on in stock. Um, so I've dropped the price to 65 bucks to get some more moving out the door. Uh, we did get more of these one ounce silver, the Dons that feature Trump's mugshot and uh, one ounce silver, the people's president uh, silver bars as well. Uh, we're getting real low on Bakken bullion. As I've mentioned before, the Bakken bullion pourer is a farmer. And guess what? He's harvesting right now. So um, he's been busy all summer with farming. So he hasn't made any since this past spring. 
And if you look at my sheet, we're sold out of three ounce, 10 ounce, and 20 ounce. Uh, so we just have the ones, twos, and fives left. Some different silver in this tray here. I did pull out some two ounce uh, dingoes. That's a mother dingo and a baby dingo right in the middle there. Those are from Australia. Those are 65 bucks for two ounce. I'm uh, happy to announce that uh, we do still have some impaired silver eagles left. There's literally four left in the bin. Um, I thought I had sold them all, but I did find four more. Um, we do have a lot of impaired sovereign silver still. And uh, for those of you who don't know, impaired means slightly damaged. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going to open my door. Sorry for the interruption there. It was 10 o'clock, so I had to unlock my door. I had somebody waiting outside, and uh, they sold me some 90% silver. Got some 90% silver halves, quarters, and some dimes, about $305 worth. So, But yeah, I didn't realize it was already 10, so... Um, Store is open for business, but I'm gonna to try to finish filming this before I get more people coming in. Uh, here's a variety of different sovereigns we have on hand right now. Hopefully, like I said, you can pause the video and zoom it in if you're watching it on your phone. If you need prices on anything, feel free to reach out via text. Oops, try to get a little better angle of this. There we go. Got a good variety of silver rounds on hand. And as I mentioned, we do have a lot of, or maybe I was about to mention, we have a lot of impaired sovereigns left. We have, uh, I don't know, probably three, 400. Plus we have uh, 330 more that are hopefully coming today. We got some odds and ends there. We do have a bunch of certified uh, Chinese pandas, none that are real old. Most of them are from the 2000 and teens, uh, but we got a bunch of those in, so that's new. Got a Millennium Colorized American Silver Eagle. It's a new product we got. And I'm surprised these are still here, but we do have the 20th anniversary three coin American Silver Eagle set. And we have the 25th anniversary two coin American Silver Eagle set. Both beautiful sets, uh, still in stock. And as mentioned, we do still have our silver dollar sale. We've been moving a lot of silver dollars the past month and a half. We're gonna continue that sale through our coin show, which as I mentioned at the start, is this weekend, myself and 12 other dealers, uh, we're gonna have 30 tables. Uh, we're giving away 10 ounce gold coins or a 10 pounds gold coin each day to a lucky person whose ticket we draw. Uh, when you pay your $2 admission, you get a ticket that automatically enters you into the drawing. Uh, you can buy more tickets for an additional dollar. So that's something fun we do each day. We give away gold. We must be crazy, huh? So, uh, but yeah, I don't have a whole lot of other things to show off. We've already started packing up some things for the coin show. I do plan, uh, if I don't go live out at the coin show, I do plan on at least filming some content. I'm hoping to uh, interview some of my friends who are dealers who are going to be set up at that show. Uh, talk about metals markets, the collectibles markets, get their take on things. So I'm really hoping to get quite a few interviews and we'll stitch them into maybe one video or split it into multiple. Uh, but it should be a fun time. I always look forward to the coin show. It's that time of year. Fall is in the air. That means coin show time in Minot, North Dakota. It's our 11th annual. So if you're in the area, please uh, feel free to stop in and support us. Like I said, it's Saturday, September 30th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday, October 1st, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that's at the Sleep Inn and Suites Convention Center in Minot, North Dakota. But uh, thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate all the support of the channel. Uh, watch for those uh, upcoming videos from the coin show coming soon, plus, I'm almost done with the trade dollar video that I've been talking about for quite some time. So look for that soon, trade dollar video, hopefully next week, if I can uh, get the last couple things filmed and edited on that. It, uh, it's been hectic in the shop. You wouldn't know it right now, but we are literally just open. So I'm sure it's gonna be another busy day again today. But thank you for the support, everyone. I appreciate it. Have a great day.